Hi, I'm Karen Thaxton with Live the Pickleball Life. And today I got to spend the morning on the court, which was absolutely awesome. And I had a surprise. Uh, a new friend came up to introduce himself to me and was telling me that he'd watched the videos and we were discussing what was going on in his situation and what happened with my situation with tendonitis. He said he bought the Engage Poach Infinity Paddle because he saw the review here and I'll leave a link to that below for you in case you have not watched it. But uh, Jarrett, hi Jarrett, thanks for sharing your story with me today and for playing with me too, is using these types of braces. And you probably have tried those or are using those too. And let me stop before I go any further and get your attention for just a second. I am not a doctor, I am not a nurse, I am not a physical therapist, an occupational therapist. I'm not even a dentist. I have absolutely no medical background whatsoever. I am sharing my story and what someone else on the court told me about their story. This should not be taken as medical advice or as if I am telling you what you need to do. I am explaining my own situation and the situation of someone I met. So now that we have all that out of the way, what he was saying was that his had gotten so that it wasn't so much back here and in the elbow part, it was more on top. And that's more like how mine was. And you can see just from watching my arm, all of this is connected. And it starts back here from what I understand that I've looked up online. And it comes through and the tendons run down this way. So you have some on the top and they turn into the extensor tendons right about here, which is what makes your fingers move. And do you see, you can see my arm moving, see it all the way down here. All of this is connected all the way to your fingertips. In my situation, these types of things never really helped all that much. Some, if I was doing things around the house or something to that effect, but when I was playing pickleball, not so much. What I ended up switching to was a compression sleeve. And I also did a review for this. It's called Body Helix. This is by far my very favorite compression sleeve. And I'll leave the link to that video. There is also a coupon for this if, if you're interested in that one. But wear what works for you. Try it out uh, if you want to and see if maybe that helps with the pain in the muscle in the top of your arm these are designed sorry I have a virtual background with the pickleball court behind me so these keep disappearing it's the magic tendonitis brace these only do one thing and they stop right here and then they don't do anything else so this gives more coverage mine goes well you might be able to see where my suntan stops you see how this covers all of this from up here, so you get all this back here, and then it goes down past where my pain was on the top of my arm, all the way down to here. So you get good coverage and good compression. That's what I ended up using. And between the compression sleeve and a paddle that is specifically built for vibration dampening and for people who have tennis elbow and pickleball elbow issues, that's what keeps me on the court. These two, I personally don't even have to ice my arm when I come off the court. The other thing that I strongly recommend is rest. And oftentimes people will say, you know, I rested my arm for a week or I west rested my arm for two weeks. Yeah, uh, mine was really bad. And I rested my arm for seven months. So it's probably going to take more than a week or two, depending on how bad your pain is. And if it's constant, uh, Jarrett was telling me, let's see if I have anything sitting around that I can pick up. I've got my smoothie over here. I also have a, a recipe for this uh, banana peach smoothie that I'll leave a link to. But picking something up this way, you know, that's putting a lot of, if you do that now and you feel it's tightening this muscle right here, and that's where mine was, picking something up from high on a shelf would do it. 
squeezing the shampoo or the sunscreen out of the bottle, you know, or out of a tube, those types of movements, typing, because that's moving all of this, all of those types of things were really bad for me. And if yours has gotten that bad, you may have to give it more than a week or two when it comes to rest. And I am so sorry to tell you that. I didn't want to hear it either, but for it to get better, uh, you, you will need to give it some time. If you have questions about what I've shared with you here today, if you're in the same situation and you want to share your particular arm issues, feel free to do that below in the comments section. And I'll answer any questions that I'm capable of answering as they apply to my own situation. I, as I said before, don't give medical advice. I just share what did and didn't work for me. Hope you've had a great day on the courts. I did this morning. I'm tired now. I'm going to go finish my banana smoothie and enjoy the rest of my day. And I hope you do too. I'm Karen Thaxton with Live the Pickleball Life. See you next time.